What up, y'all? It's your boy Eastwan LB, member of the DVE family, here with a quick Detroit Pistons versus Milwaukee Bucks review. First off, I want to say, man, Andre was out there balling today, boy. He was out there doing this motherfucking thing. He was hitting free throws. You know what I'm saying? He was stealing the ball. He was protecting the paint. Some on some certain plays he wasn't. It looked like he was a little tired, but for the most part, he was out there. He was a presence in the post today, man. He was a huge presence, man. Finished the game, 20 points, 23 rebounds, three blocks, couple steals, few assists. Dude, was, he was a monster tonight, man. They couldn't stop that guy. Uh, they couldn't stop him at all. And when Andre is focused like this and, and angry, this the Andre that we should we should expect to see. But once he out there lighty gagging and goofy around, that's the one we don't want to see. So today, great game from Andre Drummond, man. Huge game. Uh, KCP, 21 points. Um, he got hot. He was hitting shots. He was cutting. He was playing um, solid defense. He was doing his thing in this one, man. Uh, KCP was much needed in this game. He probably, without him, we probably wouldn't have won this game. You know what I'm saying? But he stepped up. He know that he needs to get better at making shots. He know he needs to take better shots. So we should look forward to seeing that in the near future. Uh, Tobias Harris, he continued a good game. Can't remember how many points he had. I think he had like 16 or 18 points. Good game. Another good game for him. Um... He was scoring in a variety of ways, going to the hole, uh, spot up three. You know what I'm saying? He was creating for others and shit. And uh, when we get this Tobias Harris, man, this team, man, psh, the sky's the limit for this team, man. I can't wait till Reggie get back, man. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep screaming it to the cows. Come on. We need Reggie Jackson. And once he come back, that pick Ishmael back in that second unit, and that's going to make this team extra, extra, extra good, man. So, Good win, man. Good, 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 good win. We got a tough team coming in here, the New York Knicks. Um, we might have a little problem with this team. Might have a little problem, but hopefully we can pull it out. You know it's going to be a matchup with Porzingis and Derrick Rose. That might be a little problem for Ishmael, but hopefully Ishmael can create his own and um, make Derrick Rose play defense. But I'm going to talk about that in another video, you know what I'm saying? So continue on with this game, man. Uh... John Lure was okay, man. He was struggling on the defensive end in this game, man. Then nobody uh, looked like they wanted to guard uh, Giannis Adekupo, whatever his damn name is. They was everybody was looking scared to guard him. You know what I'm saying? He is a great player. He's a future All Star in the NBA, but he's not a jump shooter. I told y'all on Periscope when I was on there for seven minutes. I said, yeah, he's a star, but he can't shoot. Yeah, he can get hot. He might get hot in this game. But he can't shoot for real. I'd rather see him shooting the ball than taking it to the hole. Because when he take it to the hole, he get to use his size. Because he's tall and he got long arms and shit. And he can score easily in the paint. But if you take that away and make him beat you with the jump shot, then, hey, he eventually going to miss because he's not a great fucking shooter. He hit two, three in a row. But he ain't going to keep hitting them bitches unless he's just crazy hot. But uh, great player over there, though, man. I got to salute him, man. I, I remember when he first came into the league, he was skinny as shit. He was skinny as fuck, man. He put some muscle mass on, and he expanded his game and shit. Salute to uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I, I appreciate hard work, you know what I'm saying? But uh, who else had a good game? Marcus Morris had a horrible game. He hit a, he hit a couple good shots towards the end of the game when we needed him, when they was making that push to keep them at bay. So I cr credit him for that, but he wasn't in sync in this game, to be honest with you. I think he was like 0 for 8 in the first half. Uh, he was turning the ball over. He wasn't playing good defense. He kept getting caught on the screens. That shit was pissing me off. Uh, he just looked soft as hell today. Michael Beasley was pushing him around. Marcus Morris, one of those guys, he liked to take advantage of his uh, of who he going against. When he know he can't really beat somebody, he play like a bitch. But when he know he can beat somebody like a Tony Snell or something, he dog him out. You know what I'm saying? But he was okay in this guy. He wasn't great, but he was okay, man. He had 11 points, I believe. He had 11 points. That's good enough, man. Uh, Baino, he came in. He was pushing that tempo, moving that ball. He was taking shots, getting into the paint, making layups. If he wasn't making layups, you know what I'm saying, guys was uh, helping him out on the boards, offensive rebounds. Man, this, this team, we got a special team over here, man. We got a special team over here, and we still ain't got Stanley Johnson playing good at all. He just out there being a decoy, just running up the court. You know what I'm saying? He'll make a couple good plays here and there, but for the most part, he's not looking to score at all. Uh, he just not. I don't know what it is. I don't know if he ain't got the confidence, but hopefully as the season go on, he got he break out of that shell and we see what he really got. But uh, right now, he just, he, and he look like he in the doghouse a little bit. Stan and Gunny not just throwing him out there like that. He may still be injured or be bothered by the foot, a uh, little pain that he had going on, but I don't know what's going on there. 
But uh, Ish Smith, man, Ish Smith, Floyd General, Mr. Floyd General himself. I like how he play, man. You could tell he can't shoot. He got he got he got an ugly jump shot. Boy, I ain't gonna lie. He when when it comes to shooting threes, that's not his game. That's just not his game. He just don't shoot threes. He can hit them, but it's not his game. He can well. He's good at penetrating, dishing that ball out, getting to the hole, beating guys off the dribble, and getting to the paint, and scoring layups and shit, and getting a little mid range jump shot going here and there. That's what he can do. You know what I'm saying? But do he prefer to shoot? No, he prefer to pass. Can he shoot? Is he a capable shooter? Yes, he is. But uh, like I say, that's what I say. When Reggie Jackson get back, they're going to compliment each other so fucking good that I watch what I tell y'all. Watch what I tell y'all, man. Y'all think we good right now. We ain't, we ain't good like we supposed to be. Because we still ain't got Stanley playing. We still ain't got Reggie back. We getting KCP back in the um, hang of things. We still got to develop Henry and shit. Michael Benajay and them. So this team is... Far, we got a long way here, man. So I ain't hitting no panic button and none of that. And if and if uh y'all ain't riding with us, y'all can get rolled over. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's a couple pistons. Well, Lions fans that be talking shit about the Pistons. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember dude name before. I used to watch his videos a minute ago, man. Look, ugly motherfucker. Yeah, Lion. He, he talk about the Lions. I remember. He, I remember one video I was watching. He got into an EDP and shit. A minute ago, this was years ago. This was probably like a 2013 and shit. Ugly motherfucker. Yeah, ugly motherfucker to most of them. Yeah, the Pistons blew the matches out the other day, but I ain't finna jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, don't jump on the bandwagon. We don't need no bandwagon fans, boy. We don't need no bandwagon fans. But uh, great game from the guys, man. Like I say, man, Ish Milk, great floor general. That's what I'm saying. If Reggie Jackson come back, give us them 18, 20 points per game. Wow. Uh, improving on getting his teammates involved more, then hey, the sky's the limit. And if he don't do that, we still he still we still gonna need a scoring so he still could score. And then we can bring Ish Milf in, you know what I'm saying, to be the floor general to, you know what I'm saying, push the tempo and change the tempo. So I like this team. Man. Somebody said something on Twitter though. Uh, Ish Milf is like a Brandon Jennings that won't shoot. That's true, but the th the difference between them two is Ish Milf can finish at the rim better than Brandon Jennings. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, so, yeah, Brandon Jennings can shoot, but Ishmael can finish at the finish at the rim better than Brandon Jennings, if you ask me. And they do got a little similarity. I I, I get we, where you coming from when you uh, sent that tweet out. But Brandon Jennings said something on Twitter today that was super funny a few hours back, man. Uh, somebody asked him, do he think D'Angelo Russell can be an all-star? He said I, he think D'Angelo Russell is a great player, but he can't respect a snitch. <laughs> Brandon Jennings don't got no chill, bro. Go look at that shit if y'all got Twitter, man. I can't believe he said that, man. Now, you know it's going to be a little rival once they go and get each other with New York and L.A. meet and shit. That shit, will, that shit had me dying laughing. Or you could go to it right on my page, East One underscore LB. It's right there and shit. Just look at that shit. Super funny. But it's your boy LB, man. I'm finna be gone, man. Next game Tuesday against the Knicks. Happy Halloween to everybody out there. If I don't get the chance to tell y'all, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, Pistons made my day, man. The Lions fucked up my day. This would, if the Lions would have won, they would have put the icing on the cake, man. It would have been the perfect day. So I still got to think about the Lions losing, but thank God I got the Pistons to come back on and you know what I'm saying, get a win and get a, get a nice feeling. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's your boy LB, man. I'm I'm about high right high as hell right now, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling, man. But uh, salute to the DBE family and shit. Salute to all the Detroit Pistons fans and Lions fans out there, man. Hey, man, it's good. We're moving downtown too, man. And let me speak on that real quick. What I think about the move downtown? I think it's. I think it'd be a good move, man. I think it'd be a good move, man. You know, um, it's about time we move it down there. You know, is it's called Detroit Pistons, not Arvin Hills Pistons. You know what I'm saying? We should have been down there all along with the rest of the teams. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I know I'm gonna be at more games. <laughs> but yeah, I know I'm gonna be at more games, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just think I like Tom Gores, man. We should appreciate this owner, man. He, he's he's everything he's told us so far. He he's backing up what he's told us, man. Um, when he's speaking, it's holding weight. You know what I'm saying? He ain't selling us no dream. He actually pitting. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He, he actually getting out there and doing what he say he gonna do, man. And I gotta, I gotta commend Tom Gores for that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? He putting his money where his mouth is. Hey, money talk, bullshit walk. And uh, 
it's, it's about time we get a, get the team to the city where it belongs, man. It belongs in Detroit, man. And uh, it's going to be a lot of people down there, man. It's going to be a lot of people downtown supporting the Red Wings, the Lions, the Tigers, and the Pistons. Um, I think Detroit's like the only team that's not downtown and uh, that's not actually in their state, you know, in their city, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I think every other NBA team is actually in a city, you know what I'm saying? So it's good to get the team to the city instead of in the suburbs. I'm going to miss seeing the uh, guys play at the Palace. It's a lot of great memories that's going to be remembered and missed at the Palace. But, hey, it's, it's a new day. It's a new generation of uh, uh, players coming up and fans coming up, man, and it's time for a change. And hey, I'm glad I'm still young to see this change, so I can grow with this damn team over the years and uh see where it takes us. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's all I got for today, man. Like I say, man, like, subscribe. I had to. I got too much shit on my phone, man. So I got to delete a lot of shit and shit. So I had to. It, my phone stopped because it's too much shit. So I had to record this shit. Add this video to it and shit, but I'm gone, man. Salute to y'all. Peace.